This is God's Feeding Station. Welcome to our daily prayer broadcast. I'm Pastor Doug White in the God's Feeding Station studio. My Bible is open to Psalm 11. I'm praying through the book of Psalms in this current prayer series. Uh, it's not a very long psalm, so I'm going to write, uh, read it into the broadcast. And for those of you that have your Bible open, you can read. You have your own version, I'm sure. Um, just let the Holy Spirit feed you from the inspired scriptures, and we'll pray accordingly in the oneness we find, uh, the one faith, the one truth, the one spirit, the one Lord. Lord, the one kingdom. Here it is, Psalm 11, I quote, uh, In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows and set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his holy throne, his heavenly throne. He, ob he observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked, he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot, for the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. End quote. Let's pray. Oh, gracious God and Heavenly Father, we yearn for opportunities, continual opportunities to taste and see that you are good, to be face to face with you, to see your face even though we see dimly now, and to declare and to demonstrate with our lives by faith that you are righteous and holy and true. And we do, Father God, take our refuge in you. You are the just ruler over all dimensions of the universe, and you and your righteousness and your holiness you will purge the land of anything that isn't of your kingdom or acknowledge your holy name. God, we know that you are just in how you will deal with wickedness and ungodliness. We thank you for the gift that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ to come from a place of wickedness and ungodliness to be in your household, Father God, to be the sons and daughters of God. What do the righteous do? We lean into you. God, you've never left your throne. You're always on the throne. And when the stuff comes from the shadows of darkness, we lean to you as our refuge and for our strength. We know you are watching. We know that nothing escapes your omnidimensional sight. And we know that you examine things to find if they're righteous and true. And you come against those that, are, that have a love of wickedness. I pray, God, that your people grow in their first love of you and to release any love of wickedness. We appreciate and we value your discernment, Father God. You are the reference of all that is holy and right and true. You will bring the judgment and the portion of the cup for those who have not received your grace. But, Father God, we worship you. And we thank you. And we come into your presence confidently, your throne of grace, because of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you that even when people give us worldly advice, as your righteous children, we do not count on the refuge of the world. Instead, we look for the foundation that's built by you. It's in the name and the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that I pray. Amen. 